What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Zach Waters, and thank you very much for tuning into today's video. So for today's video, we're just going to be playing some um, GTA Online. I'm trying to get some more GTA content out there for you guys. Um, if you guys did not get to see it, I uploaded a drunk video the other night of uh, myself playing some GTA. Highly, highly intoxicated. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Gosh. It made no sense whatsoever, but um, hopefully you enjoyed that. Today, uh, this is just going to be like a, a something to look in the background. Nothing entertaining is going to be happening. Might just drive around and uh, talk shit. So uh, I've got a story to tell you guys, and in a way this is going to kind of revive an old series that I kind of started like last year. Um, or even the year before where um, I did story time where I would take 10-15 minutes out of your time and tell you guys a story that I have experienced and uh, just get it out there for uh, just people to, to hear, you know? Oh! I just fucking knocked the guy out into next week. Ow! None of that, none of that. Let's play nice. Let's play nice. <laughs> Great start. Right. So today's video is going to be very different to what I would usually upload. I want to try and get more GTA content out there for everyone. Um, but if you guys saw my last video on GTA, I was highly drunk and uh, the video made no sense whatsoever. Thought it was funny. <laughs> Fuck off. This gameplay you're going to be seeing is nothing exciting whatsoever. I might get into this red car, drive around, because I've got a story to tell you guys. Perfect, man. Great turn. So the way I want to start this story off is just by saying technology has fucking come so far. It's not even a joke anymore. It's come so far. It's so crazy and uh, thankfully... I've been able to talk to a certain someone and uh, try and get a bit more information out there because of it. Now if you guys are seeing this video you would know by the title that I've used a certain app, Google Translate, to have a conversation with my neighbour. And nope that is not clickbait, that's not something that I'm getting the views or some shit. I legitimately sat down with this guy and used Google Translate to make a uh, conversation with him. Fucking good, eh? So the reason this all started was really, not to sound negative or anything, but ever since, for the past month or so, this certain someone right on the other side of his wall has uh, moved in by himself, but he has so many, so many family members come over, constantly yelling, jumping, shouting, you know, at night time. And, you know, being a content creator, being someone who works, and my, my fiance as well, who works uh, specifically early mornings, we need our rest and we just want a peaceful and relaxing time at home. I don't think that's too fucking much to ask, is it? And it's got to the point where my fiance opened the door and literally screamed out, shut the fuck up. That's my girl. Obviously not knowing English, I didn't know what the fuck she was saying. So I took it upon myself to go over uh, the other no the other morning, the morning after, and I went and introduced, introduced myself. I said, hey man, I'm Zach. Shook his hand and he's like, oh, I don't speak any English or something like that. I don't fucking know. Some kind of dialect that kind of shit. I don't know. So he offered me a seat. And I sat down. He was fixing his bike, and I kind of sat there awkwardly, like, "What am I doing here right now?" I, but I wanted to find out more about this guy, who he was, where he came from, and what he was just all about. And also apologizing and just explaining the situation at hand um, about how he's being too loud. When it comes to noise complaints, one of the biggest things are to go over to your neighbor and talk to him about whatever's happening. But because he doesn't speak any English, it's not that fucking simple. So I was on Snapchat and complained about it to one of my, uh, one of the people who follow me and they said, just use Google Translate. And I didn't even know that you could use Google Translate as like, you can speak into it and it'll translate what you're saying. I thought it was just text base. And uh, that's not the point. Um, you can legitimately talk into Google Translate and it'll translate whatever you say. Like this, ready? Oh shit, I just died. 
There you go. In Arabic, I just said, oh shit, I just died. <laughs> like, that's fucking crazy. What and how? I ended up asking what he's working on his bike for. Thanks, man. Fucking strike. I got out my phone and introduced myself, said, hey man, I'm Zach, blah, blah. Turned the phone to him, he listened to it, and he's like, oh yeah, cool, and blah, blah, blah. And said other, some other shit. So then what I did was I just started asking questions like, where are you from? And uh, he's from Syria which apparently is a very war-driven environment. So, you know, that's why we get a bunch of foreign people over here to get away from the fucking war, which I understand completely. I would not want to be in that situation myself at all. You no, know, I do whatever I can to get out of that situation, so I don't hold that against him whatsoever. So what we did, I just started talking to him and asked what he was doing, his family, he's got some brothers and sisters, he's studying over at TAFE, which is like a university or some kind. I asked what he was studying, but that got lost in translation. There's a few things here that got lost in translation that I don't have a proper answer on because he obviously didn't fucking understand what I was saying. But as awkward and weird as it was, I was having a conversation with this dude who I didn't want to talk to, <laughs> that just sounds mean, but you know what I mean, via Google Translate on my phone. And it was kind of just really eye-opening, like, how the fuck has technology done this? Uh, because if it didn't, then we wouldn't be talking whatsoever, and I would literally just have to make complaints to our real estate that's not the route I want to take you know I want to try and do it on a personal level and thanks to this fucking app I've been able to and so far since then this was about three four days ago and we haven't heard a fucking thing from him whatsoever basically what I did I just spoke into the phone I said uh, it got to the time where I wanted to be a bit serious you know um, it's like the real reason I came over here we need to talk about how loud you're being and it's not cool you know we don't care if you have people over, but just keep it at a minimum. And uh, we like our peace and quiet. We want to relax. We work early mornings. We just need our rest. And he understood that, which was very surprising. I didn't know how to react when uh, he would answer back in whatever language he was speaking. Arabic, I think. It's Arabic he speaks. Um, when he was speaking back to the phone in Arabic, after I've asked him a question and told him stuff, and I'm like, huh? But now I don't really know what he was saying. We got to talk somehow. He knows like fuck all English. Uh, he knows yes and no um, and the word English. Hence no English. But I'm just, it's mind blowing that I've been able to have a conversation with someone from the other side of the world on my fucking mobile device. So if you guys are dealing with loud neighbors or anything or anyone foreign, my piece of advice is just Download Krugel Translate, sit him down for a couple minutes and uh, just have a little chat. Uh, because, you know, it's in a way I feel like a lot of weight has lifted off my shoulder because I've been holding in so much anger and just uh, negative feelings toward this guy. If the message got to him fully, I don't know. But what I really hope is that he has gained just to not be as noisy. I don't care if he has family over. I've got no issue with that, just uh, keep it to a minimum. <laughs> so that's probably where I'm going to leave today's video. It's probably going to be relatively short, but I thought it was some... I don't think it's been done too much, um, from what I know at least, that people have talked to other people on this app and uh, I thought it'd be a funny yet interesting kind of uh, story to have. And this gameplay is just fucking nothing. It's uh, me driving around, crashing, sliding, dying, the good old stuff, eh? Yeah, so I think that'll do it for today's video. Let's play a little park. Right there, sounds good. <laughs> so yeah, I want to thank everyone for stopping by the channel today. Hopefully you enjoyed this kind of story. Um, I might try and do some more little story times in the future if anything uh, interesting comes up. If you guys haven't seen my video I've made of GTA while I was drunk, it should be on the side or um, one of my recent uploads. Go check it out for sure. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully you guys have been enjoying the series. Discovery should be out by now. And uh, yeah, I just want to thank everyone for the support and everything so far. And yeah, I'm just going to... Say a quick goodbye. Goodbye. Well done. <laughs> Fuck.